Hi, this is Stepan with Clear Online Video, and welcome to this tutorial on exploring new gradient features in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. A while back, we showed you some ways on adding gradients and effects with After Effects and Premiere, but recently, Adobe released some new features that allow you to add gradients to shape layers with the Essential Graphics toolset. Let me show you how. Let's start with an open Premiere project sequence. Make sure you have enabled the View Options to see the Essential Graphics panel. You can see this option by going to Window in the Toolbar and choosing Essential Graphics. Next, we're going to add a new shape layer to our sequence by navigating to Graphics in the Toolbar, New Layer, and then choosing Rectangle. With the shape layer on our timeline, we can click in the Color Picker next to the Fill option near the bottom of our Essential Graphics panel. This launches the Color Picker window. At the very top of this menu, we can change the Solid option to a Gradient. I'll choose Radial. Now we can adjust the toggle settings to give us some different looks for this gradient. Adjusting the top toggle will alter the location of the gradient colors, while the bottom toggle changes the opacity levels. You'll see a small preview of what the gradient will look like in this area. Down in the bottom section, you can change the color of the gradient with the Color Picker tool or by entering in the exact color ID or a hex code for a specific color. Once you have something you like, you can press OK to confirm your settings. Back in the Program Monitor, we can further adjust the location and the opacity settings by selecting the dots and pulling them to the left or the right. Next, I'm going to adjust the scale value of the shape so that it fills our screen. The cool feature about this shape layer is that we can now play around and continue to change the gradient settings. For example, we can continue to adjust the location and opacity toggles in the Program Monitor, or we can click the Fill Color Picker and change things there. You can even change the gradient option from radial to linear to see what that looks like. Press OK to confirm any changes. Next, you can add text to this gradient by choosing the Type tool and directly typing into the Program Monitor. From there, you can continue adjusting the gradient until you find something that works for your project. You can quickly copy and paste the shape layer to create a uniform look for your video. Next, we can add some video to our timeline and adjust the opacity settings of the shape layers to have them live on top of our video for a more stylized look. So there you have it. There are lots of options with using this gradient workflow. It's pretty cool, it's quick, and an easy way to add some custom looks for your video titles, graphics, etc. Give these gradient features a try and add some depth to your next Premiere project. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my other tutorials on Streaming Media Producer.